Well, it was Tuesday. Bethany College announced Larry Nugent as their new head wrestling coach in Kansas. He joins us now. Does the NAIA bound Larry Nugent? Larry, how are you? I'm super, Scott. Uh, it's good to be with you again. Welcome to the Nike Hot Seat. First time in the Nike Hot Seat for you, my friend. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm boiling over here. You have been not without work on your way to this job. You formed a production company. You've uh, uh, put together a, a new product uh, that will be airing on, on uh, Takedown Wrestling Television. Uh, it's called The Legends Chronicles. Uh, before we get into your new job and uh, how it all came about, uh, tell everybody about The Legends Chronicles that's set to air this fall. Well, that's very exciting. It's a... Uh... Kind of a pre-1980 look. Uh, it's a television, like you mentioned, television and internet show that uh, features Bobby Douglas and Wayne Bachman, two of the greatest uh, wrestlers, coaches, and ambassadors for our sport. I got them in a studio. Actually, we set up a studio in the Wrestling Mart Showcase showroom out in California, largest in the world. And we went through some of the great themes of American wrestling history. You know, they would talk about them. And then with my extensive archive of historical films, we're laying that over the top of them. So, for instance, when Wayne Bachman talks about his coach, Tommy Evans, one of the great wrestlers of all time, silver medalist and uh, uh, NCAA champion and coached several Oklahoma teams to NCAA championships, you can actually see him uh, out there kicking butt. I like and, that. Uh, so I, I'm excited about that. Well, it's a neat, neat endeavor. Christian Holiday, a part of that production-wise, and uh, no doubt we'll see some interesting uh, graphics and some interesting production value from Christian Holiday and his team as well. Scott, so, it'll be the it'll be the best lit show on TV. I like it. <laughs> Larry Nugent, our guest, he's the new head coach at Bethany College in Kansas. When do you actually start the job? I'm on the payroll, Scott. So uh, I, you know, I've got a, I've got a unique situation. I'm going to be traveling to Lindsborg, <clears throat> beautiful little town in Kansas. Uh, I, we could talk more about that, but you know, that's for recruiting, I guess. Beautiful little town there. They've cornered the market on Sweden. It's like, if you're Swedish, you come there. Uh, they've got some times during the year when tourism is really big. Community really cares about each other. But uh, I'll go down there for a few days, some departmental meetings come back, take my 18-year-old to university for her freshman, first a freshman experience, and then head back down permanently. And I'll kind of commute between Colorado Springs and Lindsborg. It's about six hours. My wife and my 13-year-old will stay here in Colorado Springs for a year. This all happens so fast, we're not ready to, to pull up those routes yet. We'll, we'll take that as it comes. Dane Pavlovich, the athletic director there at Bethany, I'm sure, will take your family as you can get them there. It's... Uh... You know, not an uncommon thing in the world of coaching where part of the family stays behind to wrap up business, as it were. We're talking with Larry Nugent. He's the new head man for Bethany College in Lindsborg, Kansas. Uh, he brings a rather unique resume uh, to the program, to the job. Larry, it was uh, 15 years or so you were with USA Wrestling covering a variety of different aspects, most recently as the director of development there at USA Wrestling tracking private donor support, uh, corporate sponsorship. I mean, you had so many different hats that you're able to bring with you uh, because, let's face it, college wrestling, just like any other sport, really has to be self-sufficient, doesn't it? It does. It does. And, uh, you know, the currency of, uh, of uh, a, a program like uh, Bethany College is, is the athletes. You know, you've got we've got to recruit numbers. Uh, keep that wrestling room full. Uh, your chances of, of getting a combination are better if you've got a lot of athletes in the wrestling room. So that's kind of a big goal of mine is to, uh, before would be procuring donors for money or uh, corporate sponsors for support and finding win-win situations here. Those win-win situations are going to be between me and those athletes. That's the main thing that I'll be, and their parents, of course. You have had a, a an incredible uh, history with television. A lot of folks may not know that you are an associate producer and on-air talent with USA Broadcasting and USA Wrestling both, but you worked with the likes of ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, Fox Sports, Oxygen Sports, Public Television. Heck, you were broadcaster of the year back in 2001. 
um, you you understand that there's a unique view to this sport. And uh, and I and first of all, thank you very much for all you've done. But uh, it's this opportunity to return back to the coaching ranks. Pretty special, isn't it? Well, it is. It's it's a great opportunity. I mean, I was kind of looking around for a, a junior high job, and uh, you know, just to stay in the sport. When Mike Moyer called and said, "Larry, would you be interested in taking it up a notch?" You know, I have these other ventures out there, the Legend Chronicles, and I've got another another thing that's coming down the pipe. Both are going to really dovetail very nicely into Bethany College and the wrestling program there. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Let's I think talk that, about how you started. It was 1980 as a, an assistant coach at Southern Oregon University. Even then, wrestling was facing some challenges, but perhaps none as uh, difficult as they would face uh, in the future. Uh, but Southern Oregon, a strong program. You're able to uh, produced five All-Americans there. Uh, excuse me, it was, it was the uh, the Team NEI National Championship is what you guys won. Oh, yeah. We had some great, great years, yeah. there, Scott. I didn't we want to jump ahead of myself. As a junior, uh, as a team, in Whitewater, and I remember that's when computers were just starting to be used to keep score. And uh, there was over 100 teams represented in Whitewater, Wisconsin, during the National Championships that year. It was a little later on. We jump ahead to 93. You assume the head coaching position uh, at Pacific University, 93 to 95, and it was your first year there, Pacific. You produced five All-Americans, second season, conference coach of the year, and your first national champion at that college in five years. Well, you know, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, that I don't know what to say about that. I, I still have great relationships. There's kids out coaching that I coached at Pacific all over the Northwest. And uh, that's what I'm most proud of, although we did have some pretty good success. You know, Southern Oregon's my alma mater, but when I got to Pacific, my goal was to beat them. And they're, they really are a powerhouse. They certainly were a real powerhouse then. And we did defeat them. And uh, so I, that was probably one of the reasons I got voted Conference Coach of the Year because we, you know, we, we mounted a pretty good charge there. Talk about making the move to BYU to be the assistant coach there. Yeah, I think three seasons. Does that sound right at BYU? Yeah, yeah, most of three seasons. You helped to qualify three wrestlers to the Division One championships. Uh, they had none qualify the three pr previous years. What was the what was the biggest change you made there to facilitate change and and to uh, to I, I guess really change the attitude. That's a great, great question. Well, I was working with Mark Schultz, of course. So Mark brings a whole lot of uh, gravitas, and uh, you know he was great for recruiting. Uh, but what I brought, I, I created relationships with all the different departments in a Division One program like that. You know, sports medicine, communications, academics. Uh, you know, it goes on and on, and you have to uh, you have to make sure that you're both taking advantage of what those departments have in terms of resources. And uh, you have to respect them as you being part of that department. And so that's what I think I brought most. You know, when I first got there, they weren't even taking tickets for dual meets. Uh, and I'm really proud of the fact that by the time I left, we had adults on the scores table, you know, the little things. And we were getting pretty good crowds. I learned how to market in that, in, in the LDS uh network and uh so it was it was quite uh it was quite educational for me and uh i think we had we well we did produce some pretty good stuff there when i was there uh, we're talking with larry nugent he sits in the nike hot seat today uh it's always an honor it's always educational to talk with larry larry and i've become friends over the last few years his understanding of the sport is one thing but his understanding on how to present it is quite another one of the I, th I don't want to say it's a problem because I think it's an important part of the job. You really have to work at it, and it's called recruiting, Larry. Uh, I don't know if you miss recruiting or not, but uh, when you get those really good classes, it can be really gratifying. Well, it's true. I think you have to uh, you really have to take inventory and find out where your strengths are. I mean, this may not be very interesting to the folks at home. It's a little bit, you know, it's wonkish. But, uh, you know, alumni is one great way to 
recruit. You go to your alumni, you say, have you got tough wrestlers? You need to make sure they come back to the old alma mater. But in my case, like at Bethany, you know, we started this program in 2010. So there's only like three alumni out there. Uh, so I'm, you know, you have to look at a different way to reach those athletes. Now, Kansas is a great state for wrestling. It is. Uh, I remember when I was at USA Wrestling that, you know, we really respected Kansas and their ability to produce, uh, especially a lot of numbers. People love wrestling in Kansas. They love it. And so uh, that's one of the first things I'm going to do is is assess, you know, what the, you know, the positives are and, and look at those to bring in. I really do need some junior college transfers. So if there's any listening, if the head coaches out there are saying, I've got this great guy, he's got to find a place to go. Uh, they got to call Larry Nugent at Bethany College. Give me a call. What a great idea. What a great invitation. Yeah. Uh, I know your wife uh, is going to be left behind with her 13-year-old daughter. Uh, talk to us a little bit about picking up and moving to, to Kansas. So you mentioned it's a great town. It's gorgeous to look at wonderful uh, shops and, and a great community of business people. But the university itself, the, the institution, has a really special place there. How, how special is the opportunity for you? Well, I like predictability, Scott. And maybe the older I get, the more I like predictability. I like, I know a lot of bureaucracies are, are not necessarily uh, great because they're hard to turn. They're hard to change. But at least you can count on them. And, and it's a very steady place. Um, they have their challenges as well, but, uh, I like that kind of atmosphere and, uh, they, uh, you know, it's a, it has a, a Lutheran hue to it and they really do try to, uh, maintain that atmosphere there. Uh, you know, if you don't, you're, there are no mandatory religion classes, but I, I'm sure that most of the population there do attend some religious classes. Sure. So, you know, we've got that going for us. So the Swedes are embracing you as you embrace them at Bethany. Uh, Dane pa Pavlovich and uh, all of Bethany College leadership is uh, behind this move 100%. I'm just tickled pink that they chose a guy with such high caliber and great qualities as you. Uh, congratulations on your new position, Larry. I'm looking forward, by the way, I'm looking forward to seeing the new segments on Takedown. I think those are going to be uh, just terrific because... As uh, we roll those out, I can't wait. I, I, I agree that you should be uh, anxious with bated breath. Everybody out there should be looking forward to the Legend Chronicles. You've never seen anything like it. If you've watched uh, NFL films, you've seen it with NFL, but not with our sport. Well, that's what we do. We set the bar a little high for our television yes, and you our do. radio shows. Larry, it's always good to talk to you today, specifically on a very good note. Congratulations on your new home in Lindsborg, Kansas, but also on the new job you have in front of you. The opportunity continues for you to mold young lives, mold young men into being better than even they know they can be. Thanks, Scott. Great to be with you. <laughs>